This time, Russian ships are being targeted by Ukrainian drones in the Sea of Azov. Ukrainian drones are threatening Russian vessels in the Sea of Azov, it has been reported signaling an intention by Kyiv to target Moscow's infrastructure beyond the Black Sea. According to Newsweek, over the course of the war started by President Vladimir Putin, Kyiv has delivered high-profile strikes on ships and infrastructure of Russia's Black Sea fleet, forcing vessels to be relocated from Sevastopol in occupied Crimea, northeast to Novorossiysk in Russia's Krasnodar region and further afield. Satellite imagery earlier this month showed how Russia had moved at least 18 naval vessels, including two Vasily Bukov-class patrol ships and Rapusha-class landing ships from Novorossiysk. Kyiv said the moves likely to the Black Sea and the Sea of Azov served to reduce their vulnerability to Ukrainian drone strikes. But it appears that even these vessels are under threat after British outlet Sky News reported Ukrainian forces had carried out a coordinated strike against a Ropusha-class landing ship overnight Saturday, which had moved to the Sea of Azov connected to the Black Sea by the Strait of Kirsch. Ukrainian telegram channel Crimean Wind and Ukrainian Mariupol mayoral advisor Petro Andriyoshenko gave more details, saying a ship was hit near the port of Yeysk, located in Krasnodar. But there are conflicting reports over what kind of vessel was hit. Crimean Wind said satellite imagery from Sunday morning suggested Ukrainian forces may not have hit a large landing ship, but instead a Vasily Bukov-class patrol ship. Crimean Wind said that satellite imagery showed an oil slick and that all information about the attack was deleted from all public pages. Russia had tried to hide the vessel in Yeysk, but something went wrong, it said. The fact there is a real hunt for the Russian fleet in the Sea of Azov is just mega-positive news that is difficult to overestimate, the Post added. An unnamed Ukrainian source told Sky News that Russia cannot operate with freedom either in the Black Sea or eastward. The source said that these ships are used to ferry ammunition and supplies to occupied Mariupol and then to the front line. Germany needs to recruit additional 75,000 soldiers due to threat from Russia. Germany will need to recruit an additional 75,000 soldiers to fulfill its obligations to NATO. This is happening against the backdrop of threats from Russia, reports Spiegel. Spiegel notes that calls for increasing the number of troops could become another major headache for the government, which is trying to figure out how to finance the sharp rise in defence spending and discusses the issue of reintroducing some form of military conscription. The Bundeswehr will need an additional 75,000 military personnel to augment additional allied corps, divisions and brigades necessary to implement defence plans. Currently, the Bundeswehr has about 180,000 soldiers and 80,000 civilian employees. Defence spending has become a sore point for Chancellor Olaf Scholz's three-party coalition during discussions on next year's budget. Scholz supported Finance Minister Christian Lindner who rejected Defence Minister Boris Pistorius's demands to increase the defence budget by another 6.7 billion euros in 2025. At the same time, Pistorius also instructed his ministry to explore potential models for reintroducing military conscription. Calls for more troops could present another headache for the government, which is grappling with how to finance a surge in defence spending following Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine and has debated reintroducing some form of military service. NATO leaders signed off last year on the first major defence plans since the Cold War ended, detailing how the military alliance would respond to a Russian attack. Discussions about a possible NATO war with Russia have been ongoing for two years. Previously, Pistorius stated that Germany could be prepared for a war that could occur in 2029. Recently, it became known that the German government has developed a new plan in case of war. It includes possible civilian evacuation and compulsory service for conscripts. Putin changes nuclear rules. Russia intends to use these weapons. Moscow 
has never been the first to resort to aggressive nuclear rhetoric, President Vladimir Putin told a question and answer panel at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. The nation's nuclear doctrine only allows the use of atomic weapons in exceptional cases, and the current situation is not one. He added, when asked whether Russia should climb the nuclear escalation ladder faster, Putin replied that Moscow has never initiated such escalation. Russia has never said it was ready to push the red button, the president stated, adding that Moscow has always called on other nations to treat such issues seriously, but was instead accused of nuclear saber-rattling. We are not brandishing nuclear weapons, Putin said. Russia's nuclear doctrine clearly states that atomic weapons can only be used in the face of a threat to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country, the president stated, I do not believe that it is the case now. He warned, however, that changes to the doctrine are not ruled out. According to Newsweek, Vladimir Putin may look to change the nation's nuclear doctrine amid an ongoing war with Ukraine. This doctrine is a living instrument and we are carefully watching what is happening in the world around us and do not rule out making some changes to this doctrine, Putin said. Putin also recently spoke with several international news agencies and mentioned Russia's nuclear doctrine, saying, For some reason, the West believes that Russia will never use it. We have a nuclear doctrine. Look what it says. If someone's actions threaten our sovereignty and territorial integrity, we consider it possible for us to use all means at our disposal. This should not be taken lightly, superficially. The doctrine allows Russia to use nuclear weapons if another country uses a nuclear weapon against them or if the very existence of the state is put under threat, Al Jazeera reported. Earlier, top Russian official and Putin ally Valentina Matvienko also made comments about the possible use of nuclear weapons. Personally, I don't feel like we are on the verge of nuclear war, but the trends are not good, Matvienko said. If there is a real threat to the existence of our state, a serious threat to our security and sovereignty, then, of course, we will use the entire arsenal, all the capabilities we have, she added.